Who were they? It was Nicaragua because they were mad that the time frame wasn't soon enough. So they wanted to be more aggressive and buy an earlier date. Okay. So they were mad about that because they were like, look, we need to make these changes immediately. It can't be 15 years out. We don't have 15 years. The earth is going to be gone or, you know, whatever. Yeah. The other one is Syria, whose government is named Anarchy. (laughs) So (laughs) they basically don't have a country to really be able... They they focus in on a lot of different things now besides global Mm -hmm. warming right now. And then the United States, Mm. who basically was just like, we just want to burn coal. Oh. So we don't like reducing our carbon emissions we just want to burn the coal like that's oh my god so that was like his reason he wants to focus and even on the u.s government website they were they removed the whole aggressive agreement to change the climate and and all together as soon as he was put in office that part has gone away from the government and he wants to do away with the epa environmental protection agency oh my gosh which is like now what are we going to do? I have students who have graduated and they're following all this. And they text me like, what are we going to do? Like, what is going on? And oh, I'm just like, that's so good. Look, I had to tell one girl, we need to focus uh, locally. <laughs> Whatever decisions we need to make, make them locally. And then you actually brought up. Oh my gosh. How- yeah. Because that has been the most interesting part. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just that rebellion that makes me excited. Isn't yeah. that horrible? But like, that's what caught my attention that mm-hmm. there are mayors go in the U S who mm-hmm. are like, whatever we believe in this. Mm-hmm. And I'm so proud Atlanta, the Atlanta mayor. Is on that list? Yes. yes. Kasim Reed is yes. on the list. And I am just, I felt super proud that mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess this is the first time that I've paid attention or noticed mm-hmm. or realized that people, uh, local government, they're really standing up against mm-hmm. for what they believe in. Right. I guess that's the thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it feels like they're really just stepping up and they're like, no, we're going to band together and mm-hmm. we are still going to support this as a state. Like, yeah. whoa, that's neat. Right. You know, I thought because that was these really huge. big city, ma- these metropolitan mayors say that we don't agree with that, that kind of, sh- that kind of shifts uh-huh. the power. It does. Because if it's a federal federal move to say no we want to go with coal but the city says we want solar panels and that's our decision because it's local right then that kind of will hopefully yeah offset that whole desire for coal (laughs) that they have i know which and i can say on the other hand coal is not necessarily a bad thing if there's the technology that is highly expensive to clean the coal so that the emissions don't come out of the stacks so that is that, that exists, but I have not heard any talk about using clean coal or like being aggressive with green technologies in the coal plant. Right. Like I haven't heard any of that. I doubt if it's highly expensive that that's the way he's trying to go. No, probably I just, not. I don't know. So, I mean, I hate that to get is all super. Deep, no, you need it to. I like know? the way that you just educated the listeners because <laughs> um, I've been trying to read and follow, but you mm-hmm. being the educator that you are just really broke that all the way down. I try so, to dig and I, I try to get it. both sides too because, I mean, as an educator, you know you don't want to only spew your own personal opinions no. about stuff and you want people to approach their own opinions Based on all the options that they have to hear. So I was I kind of impressed that students really were able to understand the impact of the U.S. pulling I out think of that's the amazing. Paris mm-hmm. Agreement. Like, it's a big deal. All right. So. That is super tense, though. Especially with the, I mean, that is an elephant in the room. Especially yeah. with the local government saying, heck no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I kind of like that. I do. And Me that too. just may, means that we have to do a better job. And that being said, you know, Snow White. My my truck yeah. is now downgraded to midnight, I saw and I filled that. up gas, and it was half the cost. Oh, and I didn't even think about that as like a benefit when I was in my mind about my ego and all oh, that. Yeah. I didn't even think about saving money on gas. I was thinking, okay, he just wants to save money on the bill. But that's a double saving, so that's awesome. It is. See that intentional that was spending yeah. and planning yeah. is smart. So yeah. shout out to you, world famous. You did, that. You did she a great is job. Super cute. Midnight. Is she cute. really is. <laughs> and you're it, you work with it. I mean, it's very. Mm-hmm. I think you look adorable in it. Oh yeah, uh-huh. and the kids love it. So that was one thing <laughs> too. Yes. Um. So okay. So small elephant in the room. <laughs> Girl. 
So, a um, couple months ago, when mm-hmm. um, Shea Moisture, I said it, Shea Moisture, <laughs> had a sale on CBS, and it was like, stuff was super cheap. Like, 50% off, buy one, get one 50% off, that stuff was you know clearanced why? out. This was before that happened. Oh! So, so your girl, me, I have <laughs> Shea Butter Soaps. I have hair conditioners. I have all. I was like, mm, let me get, let yes. me get, it, let me get, it, let me, me get. Me more, it. Give me more. So I have a, a very large stash of shea butter, mm. shea moisture, shea moisture. Mm-hmm. So the other day when I was washing my hair, I, it's just staring at me, and I don't want to use it because I already know the deal that they, you know, that commercial that they've let out about. Um, they basically were embrace mm. your hair, or everybody needs. I don't they know. changed the formula. They also changed the market, the target the marketing, the target audience. Audience. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was down with Shea Moisture when I was doing natural hair videos like ten years ago. So, like for that to be, I know where when they started and it was like, oh, this is something new, something cute. I was excited when they were in CBS. And then right. all was of a sudden, was that you saying that at all the hair shows, Shea Moisture was a main? Oh, then Miss Jessie, like the big ones that are like still big. Yeah, those were the ones that were like, oh, let me try it. Samples all the time. So when they got into like Target and to those, I was like, okay, that's so cool. What a great um, progression! Mm-hmm. But I think with that came, I think they got bought out, and then some changes were made with the the ingredients. So back then it was like paraben free and no cones and like all the natural hair jargon was in there. It was purely natural like ingredients. And now when I, now that this commercial came out and I found out that they were bought out by someone else, um, I was looking at the ingredients and I was like, this is not even the same stuff. Really? Yeah. And apparently, I mean, I, in my mind, I thought it was working just as well. But now since I saw the commercial and found out in my mind, (laughs) I think it's not working anymore. (laughs) Well, I do. I also use you Shea use Moisture it? for my little girls. I know. And so, I have about two things of conditioner that I'm just going to have to get out, run out of, honey, because mm-hmm. I'm not stopping. I know. I can't. Because you said you were conflicted. That's the elephant in the room. I was. You're, you're conflicted on whether to continue the usage mm-hmm. of those. Yeah, or, but I have been using it. But that's too much money. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't think that you should pour, I don't think you should throw out anything Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna use it but then I still feel mad (laughs) like "Mm, I know why but I'm still using it until it's gone like that's a waste of money and you know that doctor says we have have the budget Uh so he can't just be throwing out just random no co-washing shampoos you better not go buy some more you got some under that dog on sink (laughs) I know I know I know so that's my other elephant in the room I've been meaning to talk about Shea Moisture but I was like it keeps coming back. It's still staring me in the face. Gosh. And we are at our final segment. And we're doing so good. So fun. I mean, I don't know why I keep saying that. I don't know. We're just not off the chain like normal as far as stuff. But <sighs> we're focused. Sweet That's Tea for the Soul is like one of my most favorites. And we, people, our feedback is that it is their favorite, too. They really love to hear what we um, talk about in Sweet Tea for the Soul. I posted on Sunday about, um, there was a meme that Oprah, someone put Oprah in it. Mm -hmm. And it's talking about... The um, friend says, hey, why do you cut people off so easily? And the response is, Oprah. Oprah, yeah, and she talks about the energy that people give off. And and how you need to cut off people who suck the energy and suck the life out of you. Yeah. And I started reflecting. Well, then she also said, though, you're not going to reach your... Oh, yeah, the levels of the potential level that you can. If you're surrounded by people who are sucking that energy out of yeah. you. Yeah. I reflected though for a minute and I, I mm-hmm. just had a silent moment of reflection and I really can tell who does that, mm-hmm. you know, Ugh. and I haven't necessarily cut them off. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't. Oh. And I don't know if it's because I feel like they need this sunshine. Mm. I don't know if I feel like I have to, if I go away, like I'm not being the light. 
So I find that conflict. Um, I agree when it's with a, that. an I energy like sucker. That. Yeah. Um, but I've also, and I'm not talking about long term relationships. I'm talking about like new people that I mm-hmm. encounter. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm very sensitive to their energy. Mm-hmm. And um, so. I don't like to be around. I think we talked about the last one. Like, I don't like around. I don't like people who aren't really light. Right. And so, if they're, if I'm just meeting you, I don't have an investment in your. In oh, that yeah, definitely. I don't pursue no those type of relationships I, I because agree. I'm like I'm trying to. I have enough of those, <laughs> and I have my limit. Exactly. And my new friends are. We got all, like three slots that can be filled. Right. And those are already full. Sorry. Right. Right. And sometimes I feel like I put those on pause. Absolutely. You have to take a break and get your energy back, back up. Yes. So, that is so true. I agree with that. So it's almost like, you know, not letting them go, like not cutting them off from my life, but there is that pause button, like especially if you're if if I'm being really productive in something positive. Absolutely. It's like certain people I know I'm I'm not ready for that. I gotta get in a certain mindset. Yeah. I, I wonder though, true. does do people just cut them off? out is it possible there's family members who could oh not gosh. my family members but <laughs> <laughs> but some people have really negative mothers that's true you know i think that people probably do distance themselves i think it's more so of a when it's a sensitive or somebody that's your fan like mama mm-hmm. or daddy yeah your parents sister, sister brother, brother yeah i think daughter that, Oh, what yeah. about that? Mm. Mm. So, um, and it's funny. So, we were thinking about um, just Oprah. <laughs> she was in Atlanta. I think we talked about this last time. She spoke at the Agnes Scott graduation. Yes. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, Oprah is in Atlanta. And, you know, every woman's dream is to be in the same room with her just to yes, kind of girl. sit at her feet and glean and yes. just give information. And I remember, um, it got me thinking that's that post got me thinking about how like Oprah really has not Oprah herself, but the content that she's created has changed my life. And I remember we, me and, um, well famous back when we were, um, one year, but this was before we had the boy. One year married or two years or something. Mm-hmm. And we we took a trip and I was reading um, an excerpt from the, what is it called? What I Know. For sure. Yeah, What I Know For Sure. The thing that Oprah says all the time is like, What I Know For Sure. Like, it was a compilation of all those things in the book. Yeah. And then it get, it went on to like, you know, it was, just, it was just feeding the soul. It was really good for me. And actually from that, decided like the next day that I would go into education. Wow. Because I was coaching volleyball at the time. And then um, I think the book said something about do do more of what you love or do more of what you like or, or something like that. And I was like, I really love coaching. I wish I could just do that like for a living. And so I ended up getting into teaching because I wanted to coach. Gotcha. So that was really like, oh, wow. Thinking back on it, it was that book that really made me start thinking about or that it, was, it wasn't really a book. It was like a little pamphlet of all these things so there's a li- we have a list in front of us and we will post it yes. what's your favorite from the list of 20 i think there's 20 Goodness. things that oprah knows for sure oh my gosh one that really resonates with me because i feel like this happens within my family a lot of time is um worrying is wasted time mm. use the same energy still talking about energy for doing something about whatever worries you um and I think my my philosophy about worrying in general is that a lot of times we worry over some things that we can't control. That's just said, do something about it. But I feel like if you're worrying about something, you're meditating on the negative and that can't bring your energy up. There's no way mm-hmm. you can bring your energy up. Mm-hmm. But um, if you are praying instead of worrying you know, that can definitely give you some peace and alter your energy. Um, Another one that I liked was, um, you know, one of our favorite ones is be the energy you want to attract. Mm -hmm. So one of her um, things that she knew for sure was 
what you put out comes back all the time, no matter what. And that's the same thing. What you put out, the vibe that you put